Why does theoretical physics seem stuck in a paradox? This question echoes in the halls of academia and reverberates through the minds of inquisitive thinkers around the globe. Theoretical physics, the cornerstone of our understanding of the universe, appears to be at a standstill. At the heart of this conundrum lies a fundamental conflict, the inability to reconcile two of the greatest triumphs of 20th century physics, quantum theory and gravitational theory. Picture this. Quantum theory, with its probabilistic predictions, paints a picture of reality at the smallest scales. On the other hand, Einstein's gravitational theory, aka general relativity, describes gravity as curves in the fabric of space-time, providing a framework for the largest structures in the universe. These two theories, each compelling and robust within their own domains, simply refuse to play nicely together. They clash, creating a paradox that has left theoretical physics in a quandary. Theoretical physics, once the frontier of knowledge, now seems stuck in a paradox. Two major theories have failed to resolve this paradox, the string theory and the loop quantum gravity theory. String theory, for instance, was introduced with the grand ambition of unifying all the fundamental forces of nature. It postulated that the universe isn't made up of point-like particles, but rather one-dimensional objects called strings. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, and these vibrations give rise to the properties of particles. Unfortunately, string theory fell short. Despite its mathematical beauty, it's been criticized for its lack of empirical evidence and the fact that it requires extra dimensions that we just don't observe. Then we have the loop quantum gravity theory. This theory aimed to reconcile quantum mechanics and gravity by quantizing space and time itself. It proposed that space is made up of tiny, indivisible loops that form a sort of fabric for the universe. But again, the theory stumbled. It's been accused of ignoring the fundamental principles of quantum mechanics, and like string theory, lacks empirical evidence. So, where does that leave us? We have two theories, each promising to bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and gravity, yet both falling short. Despite their promises, both the string theory and the loop quantum gravity theory failed to resolve the paradox at the heart of theoretical physics. What if the solution doesn't lie in the current paradigm of space-time, but in a new understanding of space and time? Our exploration of the cosmos has always been guided by our understanding of space and time. Yet as we delve into the mysteries of the universe, we find ourselves grappling with paradoxes that our current paradigm seems unable to resolve. Could it be that we're viewing the cosmos through a lens that's too narrow, too limited? It's time to consider a new paradigm, a fresh perspective on space and time that could potentially reconcile quantum and gravitational theories. Instead of treating space and time as a single unified entity, what if we were to view them as two reciprocal aspects of motion, scalar motion? Consider this, if we were to redefine our understanding of space and time, it could open up new avenues of exploration in theoretical physics. It could offer us fresh insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it. It could help us resolve the paradoxes that have long puzzled us and pushed the boundaries of our understanding. To move forward, we must be ready to question our assumptions, to challenge our understanding, and to embrace the possibility of a new paradigm. Theoretical physics isn't just about refining old theories. It's about forging new ones, about pushing the boundaries of what we know and daring to venture into the unknown. Theoretical physics may be stuck, but it's not at a dead end. A new understanding of space and time could shine a light on the path forward. Stay tuned, there is more, much more.